I think bears are just the quirkiest species. Of all the photos we get, they're the ones that I love the most because they're just always doing something a little odd or a little off, whether they're trying to like climb up a tree and get on a run pole or hang on bait or just like getting their face right up into the camera. They never cease to surprise me. The most exciting thing I've seen on one of our cameras um, is a moose that came up slowly to the camera and stuck its nose right on the lens of the camera. Back in 2007, Conservation Northwest got together with a couple of different organizations and decided that it was really necessary to put a face to our landscape here in Washington to really help educate and engage people in the wildlife in our areas that we recreate, that we play in, that we live in. The Citizen Wildlife Monitoring Project is a volunteer-based uh, project out in the Cascades and Northeast Washington. We train volunteers to go out into the field with motion trigger cameras attached to trees to capture the presence of wildlife. They take photos of any wildlife that passes by in that area. In 2008, we got uh, some of the first photos of the lookout pack when wolves first came back into Washington. We've gotten cougars, we get bobcats, black bears, wolverine, lynx, pine martens, flying squirrels, owls. We get tons of wildlife on our cameras. The main reason we put the camera up here is because it's a switchback, and it's the only place along this bluff um, for the animals to easily go up and down. Coming up to the uh, camera after the first installation, it's always exciting. You never know what you're gonna see. It's like Christmas, and you're unwrapping a present. We've got a bull elk. Oh, oh, man. That's fantastic. That's a big guy. <laughs> when you see animals recorded on camera, you definitely have a satisfaction because that means you did a good job and you know what you're doing. We have an incredible base of volunteers for this project. We, on a yearly basis, probably engage between 100 and 150 volunteers in both the winter tracking program on I-90 and then also our remote camera program. They will go out in all kinds of weather. They're really incredible folks. It takes like a blizzard to t turn some of these people away. That's the fun part, is you're tracking animals. It doesn't matter what the weather is or if it's snowing or raining or hailing or anything like that. You're doing something you're passionate about and you go do it. This project ties in really well with Conservation Northwest's mission and programs. On I-90, where we're doing this big connectivity project trying to connect the Cascades north and south through underpasses and overpasses, this information is vital to conservation efforts that are going on. This is a natural progression of animal migration through this valley, especially um, during the spring and winter. It's funneling the animals right across I-90 and that's a choke point. So that's why this area, this transect, and other transects in the area are vital. One of the cool things about the Citizen Wildlife Monitoring Project is that it's really adaptable. So when we check in with our agency biologists and all the folks that we work with and partner with, if there is anecdotal reports of wolves in an area, but maybe they can't move outside of their research grid, we can, we can move to where the data is needed. We have 50 cameras out right now, and there's no way that I could do that on my own. Our volunteers are the brawn of this project. There's no way we could do it without them. I don't get paid. I'm doing it because I love the outdoors, and I love tracking animals, and I love educating people. That's the best part, and especially when you have a potpourri of animals on one camera site. That's awesome. My favorite photos, of course, are the wolverine shots because they're such incredible species, and to get them on camera is it's just such a present. I've been all over the world in jungles, climbed volcanoes, been all over the United States, lived everywhere. This is the best place on the planet. <laughs>